What's up you guys, welcome back to another weekly overview. This week, I want you focusing on a good pulling position. We have a lot of pulling this week, um, whether that be bent over rows or hang cleans um, or pull-ups or towel rows. Um, so as you're doing your pulling, I want you thinking about keeping your shoulder blades back, your lats are engaged and keeping a nice pulling position, all right? Um, let's dive into this week. Monday, we have a 24 minute EMOM. We have minute one's gonna be a 200 meter sprint, so you're not gonna have much time left over in that minute. Minute two, you're gonna go eight four second negative push ups. So you're gonna start off locked out position, control the way down for four seconds, and then if you can, push back up in a plank position. If not, go down to the knees and then press yourself back up and go into the next rep. So that should take you at least 32 seconds, but probably more like 40 with the transition time. Um, and then minute three, your last minute is 35 double unders or 35 singles and then 15 sit-ups. So you're probably gonna have a little bit of rest in that minute as well as the second minute. You're gonna go eight rounds total. So minute one, again, the run, minute two, the push-up, minute three, the double under or single, and then the sit-up. All right, that's gonna be Monday's workout. Tuesday, we have Tabata of five different movements. Dumbbell swing, that's gonna be all the way overhead. Dumbbell reverse lunge. Dumbbell hang clean and jerk, alternating whenever and then burpee, and then wall walk. So the wall walk at the end is gonna be pretty tough. You're gonna go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight sets of wall walking. So it's gonna be a real good tricep and, and upper back and shoulder pump. Um, so again, five rounds, you're gonna go all dumbbell swings first and then all reverse lunges, all hang clean jerks, all burpees, all wall walks, okay? That's gonna be Tuesday, Tabata Tuesday, if you will. Wednesday, we have five rounds for time. We have 10 pull-ups or towel rows um, or whatever kind of uh, upper body pulling you can do. 20 hollow rocks, 30 air squats, and 40 double unders or 80 singles. Okay, so five rounds. Try not to rest too much. Think about just constant movement on those. Thursday, we have a running day. Running day is gonna be, uh, it's gonna consist of six rounds of a 400 meter run. After each 400 meter run, you have exactly a two minute rest. So if you guys can, maybe grab yourself like a, just a simple watch, maybe an, an Apple watch if, if that works or something of that nature. Um, but just a simple watch will do. You'll just go um, with the setting where you can just go with a timer. Um, and then if you guys do have a split on here, you can hit the button to make it split and you'll have a two minute rest for six total rounds. The goal is to stay consistent, um, but when you record it, you're gonna record your slowest actual 400 meter run. All right, so again, consistency is gonna be key. Make sure you route, write down each round. Um, and then at the very end, you're gonna record your slowest round. All right, that's gonna be Thursday, your running day. Friday, we have an 18 minute AMRAP, uh, 50, 40, 30, 20 of these movements. 50 dumbbell Russian swings, 40 towel or ring rows, 30 floor presses, that's gonna be 15 on each side, and 20 sit-ups. So constant movement there again, 18 minutes, a lot of pulling, um, a lot of dumbbell Russian swings. So your posterior chain will be nice and lit up after that. Um, you're pressing from your floor press and then a little bit of midline with the setup. That's gonna be Friday's workout. Saturday's workout, you go, I go format for 20 minutes. So Aaron and I were partners. I would do the full round before he then goes and does his full round. We have 10 push-ups, 12 hang squat cleans. Alternate each rep on those and then 14 alternating V ups. So you're gonna be laying down, uh, get yourself in a V position, touch one foot and then lay back down, touch the other foot uh, for 14 reps. Think about higher intensity there because you're gonna have a nice rest after each round. So I do the full round, go push pretty hard and then as soon as I get done with my 14 V up, I rest and then Aaron does his, his round. All right, that's the week you guys. Um, have fun with this one. Again, focus on your upper body pulling and your positioning there. And uh, that's it, we'll see you guys next week.